military headquarters is doing everything in its power to defend our planet and you, its citizens. You are urged to be calm. You are instructed to act only in accordance with military directives. Again, this is a state of war. We must be strong. We shall not be defeated. Headquarters thinking is we can't sit and wait for those murderous renegades up there to launch a planned offensive. Their sheer destructive power and their robo-technology far outweigh our strength. We need to draw them out with our fighters, lay in a missile barrage, disrupt their strategy, and keep them off balance. It's not in our blood, I tell you. We're just not built to sit back and wait for an enemy to destroy us. We must attack them. But their counterattack could easily end up annihilating our entire defense force. That's right. It's suicide. Why, it's insane to attack. It's like jabbing a stick in a hornet's nest, and a very short stick at that. Stick? <laughs> That's a laugh. You mean twig, don't you? Quiet, all of you. This decision has been made at the highest levels of the government, and once policy is set, it's our job to carry it out. Believe me, I respect all of your opinions. However, I'm sure headquarters has a much broader picture of the danger we face. We will follow the orders we've been given. What remains of the protoculture is our concern. It must be protected at all costs, even to the point of sacrificing lives if necessary. Oh. Let's just hope all the hornets don't come out of the nest at once. In the attack, Lieutenant Sterling's group will handle the rear guard defense. Huh? Lieutenant Crystal, your squadron will be the spearhead. We'll be ready, sir. Some people have all the luck. Huh? Don't get your tail shot off. Hmm. Hmm. Colonel Fredericks, huh? I'm putting this division on immediate emergency alert. Strict military discipline is now ordered. I expect full compliance. Yes, sir. You can plan on complete obedience oh, from everyone. Sure. While details of the surprise attack are being worked out, Sean Phillips, the former commander of the 15th Tactical Corps, receives an unpleasant surprise of his own at the base motor pool. Louis, is my ship ready? Oh, um, I, um... What's wrong? I didn't want to bring this up. That is, um... Somebody tell me what's going on here. As of today, you've been assigned to a new Veritech Hufford tank. Somebody slipped up. With you being in the brig, I guess they forgot to tell you. <laughs> Which one's my ship, huh? Uh... Ah, what's that over there? Is that it? Well... Uh... Mm. Ah... <laughs> Huh? What? A brand new Hubbard tank! All right! Uh-oh. Come on, he found it. Beautiful, isn't it? I think I outdid myself. Man, this baby was built with me in mind. What a sweetheart. Nobody else in the 15th Division can handle this, darling. Uh... Well, I'm afraid somebody huh? else is going to have to try, Private Phillips. <laughs> nope. This hover tank is reserved for officer use only. Get it? Now watch my lips while I repeat this, Private, to make sure you understand you'll never fly this craft. There ain't no justice in this world, and that's the truth. <laughs> this tank and me were history on wheels. Of course, there's still a chance for you and me, little darling. Phillips, the only history we'll make is when I bust you out of the core for insubordination. Now move it! <clears throat> okay, okay, but give me a tank like that, and who knows what could happen. Give up, hotshot. I've been bounced off my tank and the prototype, so where am I supposed to find something to ride? Right up there. Huh? What are you talking about? That thing? Hey, what's the big idea? It's the oldest tank we've got, but it's all yours, Private. Thanks. Okay, now listen up, everybody. Orders from High Command. The 15th Armored Squadron will be mobilizing at 1300 hours. And so the defense forces of Earth combine to launch their first assault against a new and powerful enemy. In a last-minute realignment, Marie Crystal and her squadron find themselves assigned to the second wave of the attack and watch quietly from the control tower as their comrades lift off in strategic formation. There goes a lot of good men and fighters, Lieutenant. How many do you think will make it back? Most of them should, with any luck. I only wish we'd been able to keep our original orders so we could go along with them. to be up there with them instead of trailing behind. I can't stand being stuck here on the ground waiting to pick up the pieces. This is driving me crazy. Uh, Lieutenant? Huh? I imagine being stuck with this civil defense duty doesn't exactly thrill you. Uh -uh. Even so, I certainly hope you're not getting any ideas about charging off on your own, hmm? I don't have to be given an update on our orders. Uh, yes, ma'am. But remember what happened the last time. And I don't <coughs> need an update on that incident either, Corporal. <coughs> 
15th Tactical Armored Command, you are now scheduled for deployment. Assemble immediately at Subterranean Gate 6 West and begin moving out to pre-designated sector defense points. As the 15th Squad moves into position on the ground, the Veritek fighters continue to close in on the Renegade flagship. Their progress is being closely monitored by anxious eyes throughout Earth headquarters. No doubt their sensors have detected our approaching squadrons, General. Mm. The first skirmish should begin in 30 seconds. Now, if we can only withstand the counterattack. Are you picking up any kind of reaction from the invading craft? No, sir. We show no movement of any kind. Huh? Nothing yet? Why, that's unbelievable. First fighter group reporting in, Commander. We are now in attack formation. This is incredible. All right, we'll provoke a response. Start attack immediately. Roger. All right, boys. You heard the man. Let's do it. Right. All units, watch out for cannon fire. Initiate evasive maneuvers. Sir, I'm picking up an unidentified craft emerging from inside the ship. Correction, Captain. Make that two unidentified vessels. Control. We are now under attack by Mecha from within the Robotech flagship. All forces break off from flagship attack and surround those assault units immediately. Isolate them. Roger. The sensor readings are clear. The power of each of those ships is superior to our entire squadron. Hmm. I'm not surprised, Colonel. But if we can isolate them, who knows? Okay, we've got it now. Keep them in sight. Look at that, it's incredible. A whole squadron wiped out in minutes. We can't fight those guys, they're invincible. Huh? Whatever happens, we mustn't lose hope. <gasps> now, from inside the mobile assault units, a new threat emerges. An army of bioroids armed with laser cannons and propelled by anti-gravity hovercraft. The counterattack has begun. My duty to inform you, Robotech will be right back. I've been ordered to tell you, Robotech is back. In a frightening counterattack, enemy bioroids have poured out of the mobile assault units and are now swooping down on Earth's defenses.
buzzards fire! Across the valley at their sector assignment, the troopers of the 15th Squadron watch helplessly as their base erupts in flame and smoke. Our defenses have been penetrated. <sighs> Let's mount up. What? what? <clears throat> <clears throat> Crazy? Out of my way, Corporal. We were all assigned to protect this sector, Lieutenant. Or have you forgotten those orders? We don't have a snowball's chance in a blast furnace of surviving this attack. Unless every one of our units gets into the fight right now. Our orders are to wait right here. Then you wait. Let's move out! Lieutenant! Oh! Stupid, you know she's gonna end up right back in the brig. Assuming we still have a brig. <clears throat> huh? See you later, Corporal. Lieutenant Sterling, huh? come back here immediately. Lieutenant, you are deserting your post. Return at once. Hear me? Come back or face court martial proceedings. Huh? What? Then you better court martial me too, because I'm going to be out there with her. They'll throw the whole bunch of them out of the service if they survive this. Sir, it appears the base could fall at any time. Bring up the 15th squad of the Civil Defense Forces. Our heavy armored units? I'm sure it would take them much too long to get here. Huh? Hope they make it in time. Sir, I'm going mm. to inform all units to get ready for evacuation of the base. Mm. Unknown to the High Command, the heavily fortified units of the 15th squadron are already on their way to the rescue. As they approach the scene of destruction, the young troopers put on their armor and prepare themselves for battle. You, my friend, are dead duck.
Bayreuth attack is repulsed at last, but the smoking ruins left behind are evidence of the enemy's awesome power. The extent of the destruction and the relentless nature of the robotic warriors who carried it out has raised serious doubts in some sectors of the Defense Command. Does the Earth stand a chance? Only one enemy weakness was exposed during the desperate battle. The Bioroids were all tied into the mobile assault unit. It was their command post. The turning point of today's battle occurred when their command capability was destroyed by Lieutenant Sterling. The Bioroids were then forced to retreat back to their mothership. So, at least we have some idea of how to handle their most effective weapon. Hmm. Is that it? That's the gist of the field analysis, sir. They examined every aspect of today's battle. Sorry there wasn't something more positive to report. Hmm. This is the only good news I've had all day. Yes, sir. Um, about Lieutenant Sterling abandoning her sector. What should we do? We should reward her. What? That's right. Well, I guess she did save the entire base, General. What exactly did you have in mind? Should we give her a medal or something? Hmm. It seems to me a promotion's in order. Yes, sir. Make sure you see to it at once. Should I be in show business? Hmm. Just hurry it up, will you? Oh, take it easy. I'm just going to the brig again, which I'm sure must make your day. I've been sent here to make sure you show up for the promotion ceremony. Right. I've been sent here to make sure you... Huh? What? What promotion? Huh? Uh-oh. I wasn't supposed to tell you till we got there. We are here tonight to honor one of our tank commanders for her courage under fire in recognition of her remarkable achievement in turning the tide of battle around for her comrades. The commander of the Army of the Southern Cross hereby promotes Second Lieutenant Dana Sterling of the 15th Armored Division to the rank of First Lieutenant, effective immediately. Hey. Please step forward. Huh? Search the auditorium. She's disappeared. Uh, I know she was here a minute ago, sir. Ha, <laughs> maybe she'd rather be promoted in private. Here I am. Sorry to keep you waiting, but I just couldn't be promoted without my hover tank. <laughs> Be sure to be watching next time as the United Earth Defense Forces plan a daring mission which could decide the fate of the entire world. Answering a call for volunteers, Dana Sterling offers the services of the 15th Tactical Armored Division in an operation to reestablish communications with Earth's triple satellite comlink, Space Station Liberty. The assignment throws Lieutenant Sterling and her squad into the lap of Marie Crystal, Dana's friendly rival. The action is heavy as this band of Robotech defenders work together toward a common goal. Be sure to tune in for Volunteers, the next spectacular chapter in the continuing drama of Robotech.